What's up, everybody? It's your boy Chef Tariq back here with another episode of Chef Tariq Show. We got a great guest host today. We got great food today. Can't wait for y'all to see what we're doing today. Let's get to working. Let's to Now, how you doing today? I'm doing good. It's your second time on the show. How you feeling about that? I feel great. You're in an elite group now. You and Only Bella's been two timers. You feeling great, huh? Yeah. Now you gotta, you gotta look raise your, your standards now, you know? Yeah, I feel special. Let's get to work then. Today we have a calzone with our homemade marinara sauce. All right, now you've been on a chef show before. You know what to do. You know what to do, right? Yeah, wash your hands. For how long? Twenty seconds. Before. Soap. And. Water. Your hands washed? They're washed. Are yours? Of course they are. You know what time it is, though, right? To cook. Exactly. The first thing we're going to do is make our marinara sauce. So right now we're going to saute a half cup of onions. Three cloves of garlic. Sweat your onions and garlic for about two minutes and add a tablespoon of tomato paste. A teaspoon of red pepper flakes. One can of San Marzano tomatoes. One teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of fresh ground pepper. A sprig of thyme. Now we're just going to smash our tomatoes. And we're just going to let this come to a simmer for about 20 minutes. While our marinara sauce is simmering, we're going to start with the dough. The first thing we're going to do with our pizza dough is activate our yeast. Why do you have to activate the yeast and what does it do? So when we activate our yeast, it helps our pizza dough rise. And instead of mixing it with our other dry ingredients, we put it in 110 to 115 degrees water and it helps us activate our yeast and when we add it into our pasta, our pizza dough, it's gonna help it rise after the fact. Alright, three and a half cups of flour. A teaspoon of sugar. A teaspoon of salt. Two tablespoons of olive oil. Now we're just going to let all these ingredients mix together before we add our water and yeast. dough should be ready to go. You don't want to overwork it because you're going to overwork the gluten inside the dough. So this is good right here. Now let me go ahead and add a little bit of olive oil to our bowl and just mix it around. Come on man, get in there with your hands. There you go. Now we're gonna put our dough in our bowl. And we're gonna get this in the fridge. And we're gonna let this rise for about two hours. Okay. Now we're gonna saute some onions. And this is gonna go into our calzone along with some pepperoni, salami, and some cheese. Now we have our dough. We're just gonna take it and put it on our cutting board. Now always make sure you have extra flour on your board so it doesn't stick and we're just going to keep rotating and we're just going to roll out our dough until we have it at the right size that we want it to. Now nylon up, just press it down a little bit and you're just going to roll it out like this? Yep. 
Yep, and just keep rotating it until we have the right size. Not only a great job on this, you have a great size. And now we're going to go ahead and build our calzone. Now building our calzone, we're just going to put a little bit of pizza sauce. We're not going to spread it everywhere because we're going to go ahead and fold it. So just put a little bit of sauce. And now we're going to go ahead and just build our toppings. I'm going to use a little onions. I'm going to use a little bit of salami. A little bit of pepperoni. I'm also going to use a little bit of Italian sausage because, hey, who doesn't love more sausage? Now we're just going to top it off with some cheese. And now with our calzone, we're just going to fold it over. Nope, so we're just going to fold it over on one side. And now with the other edges, we're just going to fold it together. Now if it's coming apart, that's okay. It's going to bake over it anyway. Now these are ready to go in the oven. Now we're just going to go right into the oven. And this is going to cook for about 20 minutes at 475 degrees. Oh my god. Now you see this? Mm. Take, take it, take it away. Mm. Does that smell like to you? It smells good. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get it. Make sure kids not to play around stoves or ovens without your pants around. You could hurt yourself. We're going to take this time out of our sauce. Now we're going to go ahead and try these. Mm. Now, is that marinara sauce or is that marinara sauce? That's marinara sauce. Yes, it is. We're just going to add some garlic oil onto the end to give it a good flavor for the crust. And now this is ready to eat. Mm, it looks great. Now we're just going to cut these into strips. We're going to use a spatula. Let's put this on our tray. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this to the table while I get our sauce ready. And there you have it. Mm. Sir Tariq, you are done yourself. This is so good. That's all the time we got for today. Now, did you have a good time? I had a great time. Yeah? Enjoy? Mm -hmm. sure? Yeah, I did had you, fun. Did you enjoy your food? Yeah, it was great. I hope you did. Look, them calzones are bustin' bustin', huh? Just bustin'. Okay. <laughs> Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share. Catch Mixing Up with Chef Tariq every Sunday at 11 a.m. Hey, you know what time it is. We out of here. Peace.